Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my show vlog. I'm so excited to share this with you guys because it is our first show of the year and it's actually my first show in a couple of years. Um, so we're taking caramel in hand and to begin with it actually started the night before the show. Obviously we had to bath her. Um, this is always sort of the task that I don't really enjoy bathing horses it just takes so long when you're doing it for a show you have to be so meticulous um so what we use for bathing her is we generally use just a normal um shampoo all over her body so the one we use was clean round I believe it's a medicated shampoo but it's just we just use that because it's the only real horse shampoo we had and then for her legs we use diamond white by wall um, and it's amazing stuff if you have a coloured horse or a grey um, or one with white legs or white markings. I definitely recommend it because it's just really good. And obviously I use a sponge to put that on with. So I just mix a big bucket of the medicated and a little bucket of the um, white shampoo. So then we can give her her bath. So doing her legs is never fun because um, you have to get them nice and white um, and it does take a while but she was really good and she stood like a good girl and I was really proud of her. Um, unfortunately she wasn't as good at the show the next day but you will see that soon. Uh, so my mum also put a little plait in her tail, it just helps keep her tail um clean it doesn't mean it takes a little bit longer to dry but it also makes her tail wavy so it is worth it so once we'd done bathing her I, we brought her inside so that she wasn't stood on the wet so we could put her um hoof cloth on and then i gave her a quick trim so under a horse's face they get um, long hairs um, or whiskers or whatever you want to call them. So I just gave these a quick trim uh, just because it makes her look more polished. I didn't do it too short because otherwise it looks unnatural and that's not what you want when you're entering a mountain and moorland show. Um, when you're doing a Welsh they're a working pony so it's a, you don't want anything to look sort of too um, perfect or too manicured you sort of want a little bit of a rustic feel so you do keep some of the whiskers um, and don't get rid of it all just what makes her look a bit scruffy really so then once all that's done um, and caramel was nice and clean we turned her out into the paddock after she dried a bit and after we towel dried her and of course she had a roll and got her feathers dirty but we'd soon as she was comfortable for the evening um, and clean Mo and that most of her was clean and um, it didn't really matter if she got a little bit dirty so then it is um monday so we actually went on bank holiday monday to the show um so this is very early Monday morning. We got up at five o'clock um, before the show. And to be fair, we didn't need to be up that early, but we were. So we brought Caramel up and picked out her hooves. Um, and then I washed her feathers with some of the brightening shampoo. And I also uh, washed her hooves. So the outside and inside of her hooves also got washed. Um, because you just need to make sure that they're perfect for a show and the reason that I washed her legs again is just so that they were glistening white um, and that was the only part of her apart from her face that needed um, cleaning again the next day because she got a little bit dirty in the field so then I just used a stain remover on her face um, rather than actually washing it because she only had a small stain but she wasn't the most helpful when I was doing that, but it doesn't really matter. We got there in the end. Good girl. 
So then um, my mum put her tail bandage on. So my mum was helping me throughout do all of this. Me and my mum worked together with the horses. Um, so mum just did her tail bandage. Uh, she started that while I was doing the stain remover on her face. So it meant that we could get things done a lot quicker. And the tail bandage um, was to keep the top of her tail clean and um, you also want to keep them in a tail bandage when you're travelling them, um, so that's why she had that on. So then after I quickly went and got changed, it was time to pop Little Caramel in the trailer. Now our trailer is an Eye for Williams HB11, so it's a big trailer, it can hold two 17 twos, so she does look slightly out of proportion, um, but never mind. Uh, but yeah, she was really good. The reason she doesn't have travel boots or anything like that on um, is simply because the show we took her to was literally down the road, so we travelled her as is. And off we go. So I didn't get any clips of when we first arrived, but basically we just got Caramel off the trailer and um, gave her a walk round so she familiarised herself with the area and wasn't too scared of anything. Um, and then we took her um, and groomed her just give her a quick room and then went into the warm-up arena so this is us just practicing in the warm-up getting her used to being around the other horses um just before it was time to go into our show which was mountain and moorland small breed um four years and over um and to be fair in the warm-up she was really good and she was behaving herself to say she doesn't like being around other horses so then um the show started off well, um, she was pretty good um, to begin with until she saw a pile of white chairs and she sort of got a bit spooky from there to be honest. Um, so when you first go and you walk around um, in like a ring um, with all the others and then the judge will ask you to halt and um, trot on one by one um, and it was at this point that caramel noticed the chairs and decided she didn't like them but to be fair she was just snorting a little bit and we did have a stallion behind us and I think it all was just a bit too much for her. So then when I put her into her trot she did go into canto which she's not meant to and to be fair she's never done that at home before so I think it was all just the new experience. She's not been out in a few years and I think it just all got a bit too much. Um, so then once you've watched everyone else go around um, it is you sort of do another little lap um, and then the judge will ask you all to stand and this was the point where all hell broke loose and there were like some flappy things behind caramel and she did not like them she actually ended up rearing in the show ring three times with me um just because she was scared and you're meant to stand them when facing the judge but I just couldn't it wasn't worth it every time I tried to turn around she reared up um because she was scared of the like flappy things behind us which to be fair it was a really stupid place to have turned in um because there's so much going on behind us so I just decided to leave her facing the other way because I really would rather my horse was happy and I was safe um even if it meant that I wasn't stood correctly um but yeah so she did calm down after a while she was actually pretty good to say she's not been showing in a few years and it was a really hectic um showground and it really wasn't ideal where we were stood at all 
So we just stood and watched um, the first few Shetlands do their show and then it was time to do ours. So Caramel again didn't want to stand still um, just because she was sort of scared of what was going on behind her. But then I managed to turn around and she did finally stand. So So what happens is the judge um, will walk around and sort of inspect the pony. She was just asking me sort of how old she was, what it is we do with her, um, whether she's done much showing before. She was really fidgety but again it wasn't her fault, it was just the surroundings and she's not been used to showing so she will get better with each show we do. So then the judge asks you to walk away from her, so you walk away. Um, and then turn around, making sure that you're on the outside of the horse and trot back. So you basically trot at the judge as if you're going to run her over um, just so that she can sort of see your horse's gait and movements. Um, and Caramel got a bit excited prematurely and started trying to trot, but it didn't really matter. Um, so then we trotted back and she was really good in the trot back. Um, she kept, she actually stayed in trot and didn't go into canter but I had um, a bit more control of her I wasn't doing her full trot um, which I would normally do at home during our practices um, and then you just go back and when the judge says thank you you stop and rejoin the line and then everyone else sort of has their turn So she calmed down and was being quite good apart from trying to nibble me. Um, I was so proud of her to be honest. Um, even though she had been a bit naughty and gone up, it didn't matter because there was a like legitimate reason for her doing it and all the other horses were a bit spooky in our class. And our class was actually the biggest of the day, um, which really surprised me. Um, some of the other classes only had two in it and to get into the championships you either had to come first or second. So up until I saw the amount that were going into our class, I thought we actually had quite a good shot because um, I was hoping there would only be like three in my class. So then the judge asked us to like walk around again, which is what you normally do. And then if you get placed, you she shouts out the number. So she obviously shouts out like um, the first number that two shouted out sort of has to turn in and they get first place. And I was really, really proud of Caramel because we actually came forth um, to say it is my first time showing in hand, her first time showing in New Year's um, and our first show of the season. To come forth at, in quite a big class was really, really good. I was so, so proud of her. Um, we've got a lovely green rosette, which is the colour for fourth. Um, and the judge even gave me like a special little engraved um, award for good handling um, and she said I handled her really well considering like she was going up and stuff but it's just what you sort of have to get on with and um, we also had a few photos taken that I'll show you at the end um, but yeah so we actually only entered her in the one class that day because it was our first one um, if we do more shows we'll probably enter in more classes but there wasn't that many classes um, but yeah so they, that was like the show itself, um, but they, it was more about the experience of getting around, getting us out, um, and just enjoying it, and she was really good. Uh, then finally we did our little lap of honour where everyone trots round, and I was really nervous for that because I thought she was definitely going to kick off, but she didn't. She actually trotted around really well, um, so she was a really good girl. And then when we got her out, we just gave her lots of treats and lots of sugar cubes, and then popped her back in the trailer and off we went home.